Hey, I am a certified master groomer with the National Dog Groomers Association in Tampa, Florida, and I am here with my dog Amadeus, and we're going to trim his top knot. Say hi, Amadeus. He says, Mom's got treats in her pocket, and I'm really happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're ready to get busy, huh, buddy? Oh, give me that. No one to Hold on. Hold on. I got a good one in here. Just a minute. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> He's like, it's dinner time. I want to eat dinner. All right. Let's get busy. So, I am using my Utsumi comb, which I like a lot for finish work. Come here. He's like, no. Yeah, I don't want to come here. I don't want to get done. Okay, ready? All right, so it's really important when you're doing your top knot to make sure your clipper lines are straight first. So what I do with my clipper lines, hold on, we'll bring you up a little bit here so we can see better. Come here. So what I do with... Key it over here. What I do with my clipper lines is I make sure that they're running from the corner of the eye to the ear. And you want those as straight as possible. And if your clipper lines are not straight, uh, your finish work will not be straight. So you're not looking at the line when the hair is down, but when you've got the hair pulled up. Take it from the corner of the eye to the ear. See how straight that is? And I take it all the way back to the ear. All right, come here, Bubba. Good boy. So he's got a lot of hair. He's got like twice as much as he should have on his top knot. So that's where I wanted to do this video. And I've also been growing his top knot into his ears because he's had these short ears. But his ears are getting long enough now that we can separate the ear from the top knot. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set a line in over the ear. His ear hair, since it was shaved off because he had tasseled ears, it is layered up. So it is going to poof out, but I'm not going to blend that in. I want all that to grow down and out. So we will um, just ignore the fact that he's going to have these layers in his ears. combing everything up and out. I do mine a little different than some people do. Some people like to comb it over and cut and then comb it over and cut. I do not. I comb it up and out exactly where I want it to stand. I usually start with the lines over the ears first. So I take my shears and they're completely sideways. They're not up and down, they're sideways. And I take it straight from the corner of the eye and I find the top of the ear and I rest my scissor on the top of the ear with my scissor sideways and I cut straight back. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just find that line, find the top of the ear and cut. basically it kind of disappears into the ear, doesn't it? And that's exactly what I want. I don't want a big indent there. I want a little bit at a time so that I'm setting my line exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. On both sides. Good boy. And then after I get those lines set, come here. Then I comb everything up and out and forward. And typically I do this with straights. So I'm gonna lay them flat out again, maybe at a slight angle.
and I follow it on around to blend into each side. Now for him, he's got a long head and a very pretty head. I like to um, leave him enough overhang over his head to balance him out because he's got this exaggerated head. And if you take his top knot back here, it's just going to extend the head out of balance with his body. You know, that just wouldn't look very good. So he's got to have enough of an overhang to make him look really good. Stay. So basically, I want his overhang to be about half the length of his muzzle. So I'm going to start taking this with my scissors at an angle. And I kind of build it out and follow it around. Okay. Once I get that front kind of set, I look at where I want the back of the top knot. So I'm setting all the way around, I'm setting my lines. Now, I like a lot of neck hair, but it's, I want it, basically, because we're bringing the front of the top knot out, we have to bring the back of the top knot in so that it's a fluid, fluid line and my head is not bigger than my body because right now the head looks bigger than the body, doesn't it? It doesn't balance. So I'm going to take my curve shears I'm gonna actually try my V3 ones, my new ones. They're like an extreme curve and I've never used these before on this. So I'm gonna try these tonight. So what I'm gonna do is take these backwards. Can you all see? It's hard to do this where y'all can see. So I'm taking these backwards and blending them up into the top knot. taking that neck and swooping it up. And that's why I needed to set the front of the top knot first because I wanted to see where it would balance out and look, look um, balanced with the rest of the body. And I want to be careful not to cut any of this fuzz on the ears that are growing out. So I'm just trying to stay away from that. Not get confused at what I'm doing here. so it stays out of my way. All right, let's turn them around, do the other side.
bring this down and forward. Kind of hard to clean it up over the ears with these fluffy ears, isn't it? So now I just start building it out and around. So basically I want it full enough to blend equally into the body from this direction so it's like a fluid line into the body and once i have that done see how it's rounding way out basically what i want to do is start building it out and then back in That way it has enough fullness to blend into his full neck hair. But it's not going to be floppy when I get done. Move you guys over here a little bit. That might help hard when you're doing the front of a dog. So now you can see the two sides of the top knot. See how this side is falling over and this side is rounded up. And again, I'm leaving this. So just ignore that. Pretend like that doesn't exist. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Building it out and then rounding it back up. So hard to do this so you can see. Now I drop the top knot down. Use my curves again and just start rounding it up. I don't like these curves. Hold on. Try these. These are smaller. Come here. using my curves backwards here so I can transition into the neck. Stay. Let's try the Zolita curves. Stay. Drop his head down, shake it a little bit. And just round this back. Good boy. All right, now let's blend the back and stand right about there.
and see I'm using my curves backwards. What this does for me is it gives me a nice smooth transition so that it's more natural looking of a neck. And then you just continue to shape it around until you have the desired height and balance that you want. So right in here, a lot of times we will have hair that wants to come down over the eyes. So I drag my comb down over that Pull it all down and forward and go back over that a couple of times. Take it in nice and tight right there. Otherwise your dog's going to have hair falling in his eyes within a week of the groom, if not the same day. Camo. You think you look nice and handsome? I think this side looks a little low. Right there. Alright. Alright, buddy boy. What do you think? Think you look handsome? And that's how I do a poodle top knot. Yep. Just how I do a poodle top knot. He says, can I have a treat now? Can I have a treat now? He's like, yes. I earn treats. Yay. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Yes, we'll be on early tomorrow. See you later. Bye.